Yo, how's it going guys? Mate here. Today we are gonna be playing the Hellraiser and I'm gonna be showing you a strong perk combo for you to use. Basically those are gonna be Bamboozle, Barbecue and Chili, Gift of Pain and Pop Goes the Weasel. I'm gonna be explaining how this is gonna work while I'm gonna be playing the first game. So uh, yeah, guys, if you enjoy the content, make sure to consider subscribing or to follow me on Twitch. I'm streaming there every single day. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's see how the first game is gonna go. Okay, so for the first game of the day, we are gonna have Gideon Midplant. Let's go. Such a tough map though. And I can already hear someone who's gonna be nearby. Okay, two survivors. I'm gonna try to go after the Nomider. And basically, this is gonna be the first time of me trying his power out, so I don't even know how to use it. Okay, that was a fair shot. For the first uh, for the first time. And Megan is not gonna throw the, the pedal down. Okay, I see you, I see you. I'm quite surprised that I got her, but uh, okay. My first complaint about this healer is like, why is his M2 feeling so clunky? Like, literally. In comparison with like any other healer. Ooh, maybe I can do something over here. Okay. Nice. That actually helped me. Yoink. Okay, so we got Kate over here. Ooh, Kate. Let me slap you on that hook. Nice. That's gonna be quite good. And uh, by the way, the, the way you wanna use those perks is gonna be pretty, pretty straightforward. Bamboozle to end the chases very, very quick. And already found someone else. Uh, oh, that was my bad. I should have connected. This is gonna be my first time playing him, so I'm, I'm just gonna say that again. Uh, barbecue and chili for some extra information. Uh, you wanna use his perk in order for you to apply Slappy Butcher basically whenever you're gonna throw a survivor on the hook, and uh, that's about it basically. It's gonna be a pretty simple yet very, very strong build. At least in my opinion. Okay. Nice. Maybe I can get a hit over here. No, she's gonna reach the pallet. His power feels a little bit gimmicky though. So let's get, let's get this pallet. Oh, never mind. How did I miss that? Like literally I flicked the mouse a little bit and... Okay, let's teleport over here. This is gonna be a little bit useless for me to engage in that chase. Wait a second. Nice. Ace wasn't paying much attention. And is it just me or his power is a little bit complicated for uh, his own good? Okay. That was such a good dash it, holy. Okay, so someone actually saved. And uh, I'm sorry to go back to the hook every single time, but I mean... What am I gonna suppo what am I supposed to do about it? Hopefully this is gonna like slow them down a little bit. Let's go after Yui. I don't want to get hit with the, with the spicy. DS play. How did that not hit, like, not hit? Like, are you okay? And it feels like every single time that I'm missing an M2, like, those survivors are gonna get, like, so much distance on me. Yui, that wasn't a chief, but uh, I'm gonna take it. Okay, so I didn't so many auras away from the hook, so I'm gonna be assuming that someone is gonna walk straight into me right now. Other than Yui. Yui, I don't wanna go for you. But we can break this pallet. Since this is going to be connected to the most amazing loop in the universe. Like, what am I doing? That doesn't make any sense. Let's try to go after someone else. Ooh, this guy's not paying much attention. Nice. Yoink. She's going to have this pellet to work with, but other than this, nothing. And maybe we can slow her down a little bit. Let's get this pellet out of the way and let's moonwalk over here. Dude, chasing without like any chasing music is gonna be a little bit weird, but... Dead. And I can actually teleport over there, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna get my Pop Goes the Weasel going. Okay, I can actually hear someone upstairs. I didn't want to go back to the hook, but there was someone actually heading towards that upstairs. Nice. She has Spring Burst. I'm not gonna get, get into a chase with her. I want to avoid the decisive as much as possible. Do you have a... Okay. I did that just in case, like, she had a, a pellet to work with. It was a little bit useless, but, I mean, I'm gonna take it. And she needs to open up the box. Look at her. She's getting harassed by that. Jesus. Okay, let's teleport to those survivors, and there are gonna be three. Literally over here. Let's down Megan. And maybe I can use my uh, harpoon at this point. Okay, dude, like, that was... 
a little bit kind of cringe to do. I'm just gonna get Megan out of the game, so I feel like she's gonna be on the death hook. They made a save near the bathroom, and this guy has probably like not many things to work with. I kind of don't want to give you that pellet for free. Not in this scenario. Let me use my M2 over here. Nice, I really wanted to fake it. Oh my god, that actually connected. My ping is gonna be so good. I just wanted to like fake my power, but that actually kind of worked, so I'm gonna take it. And I can actually see someone heading towards this dire direction. Nice, sorry, the whole squad is gonna be over here. And I'm actually going for 12 hooks with this healer. On this map, Yui, please, can you get out of the locker? I would much appreciate that. If you're gonna have decisive, then so be it. Okay, let's take, let's take decisive. Maybe she's gonna miss it. Hey, she should have missed it. I'm gonna take this, holy. And yet again, the whole squad is gonna be over here healing. Nice. This time, I'm not gonna miss it. I'm quite quite afraid that. This guy might have decisive. And he needs to open out the box, so that's gonna be an interesting chase. Oh no. How did I miss that? Like, I gave this guy a haircut. You know what? I'm just. Nah, I need to engage in this chase. Oh, or maybe I can teleport over there. That's gonna work either way. And this guy's gonna have this pellet. But uh, let me try to do something with this. Okay, my bad. I should have waited a couple of seconds. And uh, wait a second. I just realized you, you can't like vault the pellet both at the same time, right? So I'm just gonna pick up Megan, get her out of the game, and we can go from there. Kate, that ain't gonna be a chief. Dead. Okay, so this is gonna be potentially like an 11 who game. I'm gonna give Ace the hedge to begin with. It's gonna. It was a crazy one, so uh, let's have the second game. He's gonna go though. I'm um, Ace, you are gonna be free to leave, Chief. It's all on you. Okay, so for the second game of the day, we are gonna have Raccoon City Police Station, a requested one though. And I already heard I already heard someone actually working on this generator. Maybe I can use the harpoon over here. Well, using the harpoon on those maps are gonna be a little bit tough. I'm just gonna say that. Okay, wait a second, is that guy gonna work on that generator literally in my face? Okay, no, but this guy's gonna like be over here for whatever reason. Can I actually use it to get Megan over here? I can get EM1. And there's gonna be a little bit pointless for me to teleport over there, so I'm just gonna say pass on that one. Okay, Dwight is gonna be nearby. Let's injure Dwight. Good one, Chief. Drop the pellet. Oh, and another Dwight is gonna be over here, okay. I'm not even sure who, who I should chase. The old squad is gonna be injured. Maybe he's gonna... Okay, this is the reason why you, why you want to use Bamboozle. Nice. And we are gonna vault this window. And we are gonna vibe check Dwight on the ground. Okay, so I know that I saw someone over here. Maybe I can do like a mind game. Like I'm gonna be the nurse. Never mind. It's gonna be way too easy. And can we actually pull a mind game on... No, never mind. I'm gonna teleport. Crowded can go for the save if she wants to. But I know that someone was over here one second ago. I can hear her. Okay, Megan is gonna break the W key. Megan, is that you? It's a calm spirit user, not iron wheel user. And on the ground you go. One thing that I found a little bit frustrating with this killer is the fact that you don't have any map mobility if those guys don't open the box. Like in those situations, I went from one side of the map to another, but if I was the hillbilly or if I was the demogorgon, I could have actually teleported over there a few, few seconds later, you know? Okay, this guy is not gonna stay at this loop. Who am I kidding? Oh, and th there was the box over there, never mind, like, I should have picked it up, my bad. But at the same time, I know that, like, if I'm not gonna get into a chase with those guys, I'm, I'm probably gonna lose the game. Claudette, like, I have bamboozled, like, you don't wanna be here, do you trust me when I say this? This is not gonna be an infinite by any means. Okay. 
On the ground you go. Dead. Just like this. Ooh, and there's Dwight. How's it going, Dwight? How's life? I wanted to go for a trick shot, but going for trick shots on this map, it's gonna be a toughie. Good fake. And my M1 isn't connecting. I swear to God, like I played another game with this healer and I kind of feel like his M1 is a little bit buggy. Ooh, and they managed to, to pick up Claudette in the meantime. But yet again, this is gonna be a free pop goes the weasel stack, so uh, I'm not gonna waste it. And I can actually see those guys getting cocky with this generator. Guys, let me introduce you to Pop Goes the Weasel. And afterwards, uh, let's see what Dwight is cooking over here. Nice. He's gonna be slowed down a little bit, I assume. No, never mind. He vaulted the window. He vaulted the pallet and he was good to go. Okay, so Dwight is gonna be over here. Let's see if he's gonna fall for the same trick. Let me vault the window. No, he merely broke the chains. This is, this is like so sad. Let's get this pellet out of the way since this uh, is gonna be a pain. This is gonna be such a pain on maps like this. I feel like he knows where I'm coming from. Yeah, he's gonna vault the window. But I can slow me down a little bit while I'm gonna bamboozle this window. Nice. And I'm gonna get the cheeky M1 on you. Okay, Dwight. Breaking the W key over here. And someone is someone is opening up the box, but yet again I'm so close on getting Dwight down. It's gonna be useless for me to teleport over there. Okay, so Megan was over here one second ago, and hopefully she's not gonna pay attention on where she's actually running to. I'm gonna cut her off over here. Nice. We gained so much distance on Megan. Drop the pallet. She's actually smart. If she actually stayed over there, like, it would have been a guaranteed M1. Looking for a pallet is gonna be a little bit better. And what am I stuck into? Game, are you okay? And every single time that I'm, that I'm running the harpoon, I actually feel like I'm losing the game. Like over here. Look at the distance that Megan actually got on me just because of one single miss. She's gonna be on the other side of the map. Okay, we need to leave Megan. That she was working on this generator. He's gonna be Claudette and I was hoping that like at this point of the game I can actually do something. Ah, well, never mind. Let's teleport over there. Let's see what those survivors are cooking on the other side of the map. Okay, nice. Two survivors are gonna be over here. Dwight, you're not gonna get a fast wall, Chief. And the other Dwight is gonna be nearby, but I can't do nothing about it, so uh, I might just, well, get into this chase. Nice. Oh, Claudette. Dwight actually transformed me to a Claudette. She's not gonna stay over here. You know that, like, you don't have any palace to work with, right? So you might just, well, stay. It's gonna be a little bit useless for me to use my power. If I use my power and I don't catch her, like, it's gonna be game over for me. Dead. Ooh, and Megan is gonna be in the middle of the map. I saw all of the survivors on barbecue and chili on this side, so them going for the save is gonna be a little bit tricky. So that guy might, might die on hook. Let me get you with my M1. Yoink. I'm actually wondering if say the best for less is gonna work on this guy. Probably like in some situations, yeah. Hey yo Dwight, how's it going Chief? You don't wanna go for the save? I wanted to cut you off but there's no opening. And I'm actually getting stuck in so many things. Okay, never mind. Dwight is gonna be a and the other Dwight is gonna dude they they didn't even like tried to go for the save. I can actually win the game right now if I want to. Okay. Yoink. Wait a second. Let me get this pellet out of the way. And uh... Oh, hey yo, Dwight, how's it going, Chief? I see that you're struggling a little bit over here. Oh, and I could have seen someone, someone with barbecue and chili going, coming in clutch for the save. 
Megan, <laughs> yoink, I'm not gonna let that happen. So uh, yeah, guys, those were the games. Hope you enjoyed the content. Make sure to consider subscribing or to follow me on Twitch. The link is down below if you want to. So uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye and have a great rest of the day, boys. Peace.